Welcome to our health presentation. Over the last 20 years, cholesterol concerns have become paramount in reducing the risk for heart disease, strokes, and heart attacks. Almost on a daily basis, you either see, hear, or read an ad for a cholesterol-lowering drug. However, if you pay attention to these ads, you will notice that almost half of the ad is spent warning you about the potential side effects of their medication. Unfortunately, most people don't look beyond the medication because they're never presented with any other options. Yet there is an organ in your body that when properly nourished, it can produce a molecule so powerful that it can help protect you from the negative effects of cholesterol and aid you in lowering the bad cholesterol while increasing the good cholesterol. But before we examine this area, let me introduce you to Carol, for she represents both a success and a choice. Carol had high cholesterol levels and was given a choice between medication or using a natural supplement called ProArchline Plus to address her cholesterol concerns. She chose this natural supplement and followed the protocol recommended to her. Here are her results. Carol's total cholesterol dropped from 286 to 201. Her LDL or bad cholesterol dropped from 180 to 129 and her LDL particle size dropped from 23.96 to 15.19. All significant improvements and Carol does not need medication to help her in this area. Instead she found a natural solution to her cholesterol concerns. Carol learned how to properly nourish a critical organ that affects the health and function of her cardiovascular system. That organ is called the endothelium and it produces a gas called nitric oxide. As you can see by the slide, your endothelium is a one cell thick layer that lines all of your cardiovascular system. It lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries, arterioles, venules, and veins are lined by this one cell thick organ. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Research over the last 10 years has clearly shown the endothelium to be an active, multifunctional organ that plays a vital role in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. Scientists now believe that your endothelial cells ultimately determine the health of your blood vessels and play a major role in preventing cardiovascular disease and can aid you in the area of cholesterol. But before we talk about your endothelium and how nitric oxide can protect you, we want to make sure you understand the issue of cholesterol. Cholesterol is the area of cardiovascular health that confuses people the most. The most common questions center on what is low-density lipoprotein, LDL, and why is it bad? What is high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, and why is it good? In fact, what is cholesterol to begin with? And can only pharmaceuticals make a difference in your cholesterol levels or are there natural ways to make favorable changes? This presentation will provide you with answers to these questions. Let's start with the question, what is cholesterol? Simply put, cholesterol is the glue that holds you together. Cholesterol is a fascinating molecule because it's widely used throughout your body. To begin with, cholesterol is required to build and maintain all cell membranes. Without cholesterol, you would be a large puddle on the floor. In addition to providing this structural support, cholesterol also plays an important role in regulating cell membrane fluidity, intracellular transport, cell signaling, and nerve conduction, the liver, where it's converted to bile to aid in the digestion of fats and the absorption of key fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K, the formation of key hormones in the adrenal gland as well as your sex hormones, your brain could not function properly without cholesterol since half the dry weight of the cerebral cortex is made up of cholesterol. As you can see, cholesterol plays a key role in your nervous system, digestive system, immune system, cardiovascular system, endocrine system, and overall metabolism. It's absolutely necessary for your total wellness. So what's the danger from cholesterol since it's a natural product of the liver? Well, sometimes the liver can produce too much cholesterol. When this happens, it can damage the intercellular junctions between the endothelial cells, allowing deposits to build up. This causes the smooth and flexible lining of your blood vessels to become rough and hard, leading to the disease commonly called atherosclerosis. 
As this process continues over time, the deposits or plaques become larger, which narrows the interior of the blood vessel, making it harder for blood to pass through. The narrowing of your blood vessels also causes blood turbulence that can lead to the formation of blood clots. These blood clots, if large enough or if they pass through too narrow of an opening, can eventually lodge themselves in a blood vessel, causing a blockage. When this happens in the heart, we call it a heart attack. When it happens in the brain, it's called a stroke. Your cholesterol is transported by your bloodstream. However, because it cannot dissolve in your blood, it must be transported to and from the cells by carriers called lipoproteins. There are two basic carriers called low-density lipoproteins, or LDL, and high-density lipoprotein, or HDL. Your HDL cholesterol is called good because it helps to keep the walls of the blood vessels clean by removing excess cholesterol and carrying it back to the liver for additional processing. Your HDL cholesterol helps to protect the endothelial cells. Your LDL cholesterol is called bad. This is because it can adhere to the inner lining of your vascular wall, causing damage to the endothelium. Additionally, LDL cholesterol is very sensitive to oxidative agents to form thick, hard deposits called plaque. This causes your vascular system to become less flexible. This can also become a contributing factor for high blood pressure and can pose a significant risk for the formation of blood clots. There is a great deal of confusion about cholesterol levels and which numbers to pay attention to. We want to give you a basic guideline and then break it down into greater detail. If your total blood serum cholesterol is above 200, or your HDL cholesterol is below 40, or your LDL cholesterol is above 160, you are at risk. While all three measurements are important, it's the LDL cholesterol that you have the greatest control over. The lower the LDL, the lower your risk for a stroke or heart attack. There are five basic risk levels and I've placed them on the screen. Because genetics and other risk factors are at play, these are just general guidelines. However, given this information, you can see that Carol went from a high risk number of 180 to a near optimal number of 129 and she did it all without medication. Some consider HDL cholesterol to be even more important than your LDL reading because it seems to protect the endothelial cells. The general guideline is higher levels are always better. Men and women are different in this category. Less than 40 puts you at risk for heart disease and for women less than 50 places you at a greater risk for heart disease. Your goal is to increase HDL. Ultimately the goal is to lower total cholesterol levels while increasing your good HDL cholesterol and decreasing your bad LDL cholesterol. Many people opt for pharmaceutical drugs to help them. Even though the FDA has deemed statin drugs to be safe, there is no drug that is totally without side effects. For statin drugs, especially now that people have been taking them longer than required in clinical testing, the side effects are more evident. They typically fall into two categories. Muscle pain in the shoulders, jaw, legs, and back. This pain is a symptom of the breakdown of muscle tissue caused by statin drugs. When muscle breaks down, the body must eliminate the excess waste. This can overload the kidneys, leading to a more serious problem. Second, muscle weakness associated with neuropathy. Neuropathy is a malfunction of the peripheral nervous system which can affect muscle tone and function. Other symptoms can include numbness, tingling, burning sensations, and extreme sensitivity to touch. If left untreated, neuropathy can lead to muscle deterioration and possibly paralysis. Additionally, memory loss and cognitive function can also be a side effect of statin drugs. This would make sense since cholesterol is critical to proper brain function. And finally, congestive heart failure has more than doubled since 1989 after statin drugs were introduced into the marketplace in 1987. The current reasoning for this is the interference of the production of coenzyme Q10, which is critical for proper heart function. This leads to two questions. Is there a better way and can nitric oxide be part of the solution? The answer is yes to both questions. 
Like diabetes, there really are two issues regarding cholesterol. The first is the overproduction of cholesterol by the liver, and the second is the oxidative damage done by LDL or bad cholesterol on the endothelial cells that line all of your cardiovascular system. So how does nitric oxide factor into this cholesterol equation? While nitric oxide doesn't seem to interfere with the liver's ability to produce cholesterol, it does help to protect the endothelial cells from the potential oxidative damage that LDL cholesterol can cause, and nitric oxide helps statin drugs work more effectively. According to Nobel laureate in medicine, Dr. Louis Ignaro, in his book, No More Heart Disease, he makes the following statement, quote, with tens of millions of patients taking LDL cholesterol-lowering statin drugs, you might wonder why nitric oxide therapy is necessary for lowering cholesterol. The fact is, nitric oxide therapy is a natural way of either reducing your need for statin or eliminating the need altogether, without any additional side effects. The most important message for you to take away from the discussion at this stage is that if you are on statins, you should also undertake nitric oxide therapy to amplify your benefits. If you are not on statins, nitric oxide therapy may be able to keep you off of them. Either way, the benefits of nitric oxide therapy in the fight against high cholesterol is too great to ignore. So do not hesitate. Start nitric oxide therapy immediately. End of quote. Now who is Dr. Ignaro? Well, he is one of the three American researchers who won the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine for discovering how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Nobel laureate in medicine Dr. Louis Ignaro refers to nitric oxide as, quote, the body's natural cardiovascular wonder drug, end of quote. The easiest and fastest way to nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production is to use a properly formulated nutritional supplement. Even Dr. Oz is now talking about the importance of nutritional supplementation for improved cardiovascular health. While there is a lot that could be said in this area, let me summarize the basics on how to nourish your endothelium. First it starts with L-arginine. This amino acid is critical because it's what your endothelium uses to create nitric oxide. However, you need to consume 4 to 6 grams of L-arginine at one time to be able to achieve a therapeutic increase in nitric oxide. Next is L-citrulline. This amino acid is considered by vascular researchers to be just as important as L-arginine. You need to consume at least 200 milligrams or more to have a therapeutic effect. The reason why L-citrulline is so important is that it recycles L-arginine to turbocharge the production of nitric oxide over a longer period of time. Additionally, L-citrulline provides an alternative pathway for the production of nitric oxide when the enzyme arginase is present. Arginase destroys L-arginine, and some population groups, such as African Americans, have higher quantities of arginase in their bloodstream. This can negatively affect nitric oxide production if L-citrulline is not part of their diet. And you need various antioxidants. Whenever your body produces energy through aerobic respiration, free radicals are formed. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can cause cellular damage. Free radicals will also negatively affect nitric oxide to limit its signaling and healing capacities. Antioxidants are molecules that can stabilize free radicals to prevent cellular damage and their negative effects on nitric oxide. After much research and study, we've determined that the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace is ProArginine Plus, distributed by Synergy Worldwide and manufactured in the United States by Nature's Sunshine Products. Both Synergy Worldwide and Nature Sunshine have received the NSF Good Manufacturing Certification, which means that they meet the highest standards in the nutrition industry for quality assurance and control. The manufacturing process to create the proprietary formulation of ProArgent Plus is second to none. A total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. 
In addition to having the right blend of L-arginine and L-citrulline, ProArginine Plus also includes the following ingredients to help turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce therapeutic levels of nitric oxide over an extended period of time. It's important to understand that this product didn't just happen overnight. This is a nutritional supplement that has both long and short-term clinical data to back up its ability to repair the one organ that can help you naturally address your cholesterol concerns. Progeny Plus incorporates Nobel Prize winning science, cutting edge vascular research, and pharmaceutical grade manufacturing to create what many consider to be the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace. So what does all this information mean to you? First, bad cholesterol causes damage to the endothelium leading to plaque formations. Nitric oxide, when at sufficient levels in the bloodstream, heals the damage done to the endothelium and research shows that it can reverse plaque formations to return the endothelium to a much healthier state. Second, the number one risk factor for a stroke and heart attack is high blood pressure. Nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax to help normalize your blood pressure. It's your endothelium that ultimately controls most blood pressure responses. And third, the number one cause of a stroke or heart attack is a blood clot. Nitric oxide naturally keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to help prevent blood clot formation. As you can see, nitric oxide directly addresses each of these health concerns. It's your endothelium that directly produces nitric oxide from the amino acid L-arginine and the amino acid L-citrulline can turbocharge the endothelium's ability to produce therapeutic levels of nitric oxide over an extended period of time. This leaves us with a final question. Would you like to take the 90-day health challenge to see if ProArginine Plus can aid you in addressing your cholesterol concerns? If your answer is yes, then please contact us directly at the Synergy Co-op. Our mission is to save millions of lives from the number one killer of men and women worldwide, which is cardiovascular disease. We'll work with you to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production, leading to improved cardiovascular health, which has helped many address their cholesterol concerns naturally. Call us today using our toll-free number, 888-888-888.